welcome to my channel i'm corey b i know it's been a minute since i posted a video um just been uh very busy um so now um since i'm running my business full time i have time to make videos and um show some sewing videos and how to, how to or diys so today video will be on this um this this is a double fold binder um a, attachment now this is not uh specifically made for my brother cover stitch uh, i bought this um this attachment from amazon so uh this is uh when you make this binder it becomes a um three eighths of an inch so that means that um you would need to cut um one and three eighths or one a one and one quarter i cut my fabric one and one fourths and i will put it through here and where become the bind um the binding the strap become three eighths so um i'm going to show you um how i place this on my cover stitch i just use uh this here with just painter tape and it holds it you know it holds it down it doesn't move um so yeah i made a couple of samples well not samples so i did some and you you have to really pay attention because sometimes the um the the fabric may not uh, go through correctly so you have to pay attention make sure that the fabric is going through um the whole time and that it's going in the correct way but yeah so i made this this here so you can see um it looked really nice I'm going to show you the part that's messed up. I wasn't paying attention. And it came out like this. And then when I realized it, um, I kind of fixed it in the inside here. And the rest of them came out the correct way. So, um, so yeah. I'm not going to throw this away because I can cut this here and probably use it for something else you know a strap or something it depends i don't know what it is but i can definitely um use it so i'm not gonna throw all this away but anyway so um let's get right to it we're gonna go ahead and i'm going to show you how i uh attach this um this attachment here this binder attachment um to my cover stitch Okay, um, this can come off for now. All right, so I'm going to place this on here. So see this piece right here, this. Okay, when you look at this way, this piece right there. So this here, you want to line this up with your first needle, okay, on your cover stitch. Now see, I'm using two needles. Now this um cover stitch um require um has a three needle, but when you're doing um um uh, hemming or uh, the bias tape, you don't need three needles. So I just removed the um I just removed a need um the first actual needle and kept the second and the third one. Um, but it's up to you if you want to have the first one and a second one. Um. I might change it because I just was thinking about I may change it and, and put the first one and leave the second one and remove the third one. But for now, I just have it on the second and the third one. So you want to make sure this piece here, this um this here line up with your um, first needle. So I can't find my glasses, but um, once you do that, um, so when you think you you try to eyeball it, but um I 
All right, so I got it just right. So now I'm going to take my painter's tape and I'm going to tape it down. It's really simple, y'all. It's really um, simple. So once you it move, but I'm going to just get the, this tape on here to make sure. It's hard when I got this camera in front of me. Okay, I got that piece down. And I'm gonna take an, another. Make sure it's flat. Where it won't move. And now I'm gonna lay this flat right here. All right, so if you see if I do this, it's, it doesn't um, move. So um, so basically, that's it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and cut the, um, cut the, um, the strips to make the vines here so I can show you um, how that work, uh, show you how you can um, do that. I'm gonna do a um one and one fourth. All right, take my Taylor's chalk and just mark it. Take our strip and put it through here. Oh, wait, I forgot. So this piece come with it. You're just gonna stick it down in there. I think I need to screw it, screw this, but I ain't gonna worry about it. Um, but that's where you lay your um. your strip set for it to um do the the do the binding. So all right. When you get ready to do this, you want to make sure that the wrong side or since this is on um, spandex, I want I want the sh shiny side showing. So since I want the shiny side of this to show, I'm going to um, make sure that the part that's not shining facing towards me. 
So the wrong side will be facing towards you. But if you want the if you want to do it um where you want your strip to be not on the shiny side, then you want the shiny part facing towards you. All right, so you're just going to take and feed this through. All right, so you want to make sure that uh, when it's going through here that it's, it should be folding, you know, like um, doing the fold through here. So once you get it through here, I'm trying to fix this camera, y'all, or you can see and try to get it close. So once you feed it through here, you see how this is folding? Your bottom should be folding as well. So now I'm pulling it back. So you see this little hole right here? this little piece so you want to take and put that through here so you can keep the fold all right so when you get it out you're going to take it and feed it through there So once you feed it through that, it should. All right, you see that? See how this fold? See this is folded and down here is folded. So it's on a fold. So now we're gonna go ahead and take it Pull a little, you know, pull more out, pull it. And we're going to go ahead and put it under the, the presser foot. But you see how I got it on the foot, right? So I'm going to just raise this presser foot up. And just take it, make sure you push it underneath, right under the needle. And make sure that this fabric stays in this little in this little crevice in this little hole here, so it can keep its form to keep the fold. Cause once it's out of it, it become it will um it will not be folded, be unfolded. Uh, this is the only thing, y'all. Just trying to get it, you know, started. But once you get it, get it going, everything else is fine. And then I have the cameras in the way, in my way, for me to get in there like I want. All right, I wanna make sure that I got it the way I want it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my foot down. I'm gonna put my needle down, all right? So you see that? So like I say, you always wanna keep your eye on here. Keep it on here. And in the means, and while you're sewing, <laughs> you wanna make sure you keep your eye on here. Let me pull it back. Make sure you keep your eye on this to make sure that it's not, uh, see how this is all, you know, so you just want to make sure that they all straight, right? So make sure that it's straight, it's going through here straight while you sewing. Because if not, like I showed you um, earlier, uh, that's what happened because I didn't pay attention to it. So now we're going to go ahead and start. But um, I love this cover stitch. Oh my God, I love it. Um, I 
it's so much easier when you when you hemming stuff and you need to make your own bias tape and trimming and stuff like that this machine is way better i think i paid like i paid over like 400 something dollars for it so um i'm not sure exactly but i know it was like four something so it was well worth it the price all right so i'm gonna go ahead and So I'm just pulling. So what you do is, because your string goes straight to the back. So you want to make sure you're pulling the string while you're sewing at the same time. But you see how when I sew, it's going on the fold. Closer look, a close up look, y'all. So we almost finished. All right, so it's finished. All right, raise my presser foot. Raise my needle. All right, so now I'm gonna take the um, tension. You press these down. So once you press this down, now I get to you pull you pull straight back. Make sure it's back. Pull it straight back. And you cut. So what I do is I uh, when it look ragged on the end, I just cut it. Alright. So now you see. Your trim or your straps. Mainly these are gonna be straps. Okay, y'all. So that was the end of me making my straps trim. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. Um, if you like it, if you like the content, um, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the notification bell, and yeah. See y'all on the next video.